sound effect. Is someone gaming or something? So sleepy. Just a few more minutes. Wait, are you a human? No, that's silly. You're a drop, so... Oh, I know! Must be some weird human-shaped meat. I'll try cutting it up. <laughs> Stop right there! <laughs> hey! You didn't have to scare me like that! So I guess you're a human and not human-shaped meat? Are you really still questioning my humanity? Sorry, but I've never seen a slime drop a human like that before. A slime? Drop? This is so confusing. I normally drop bean sprouts and I'm almost certain you're not a bean sprout. Back up, what's all this about slime drops? Are you messing with me or are you just insane? You mean you really don't know? Have I not made that clear by now? Hmm. Wait, watch a minute and I'll show you. A slime? Ah! Whoa, be careful! <gasps> not good. Don't worry, I can take that hit! Whoa! the bean sprouts! The slimes in this area always drop bean sprouts. Like, always. Everybody knows that. Uh, nobody I know knows that. I, what's with the bean sprout chick? And what in the freaking hell is going on here?! So, I'm no farmer, but I didn't know that's where bean sprouts came from. Not just sprouts. Everything. That's where it all comes from. What? Seriously? I can't think of anything that isn't a drop. Of by monsters in dungeons like this one? How is it possible you don't know this stuff? Hmm. Hey. Yes? We're not in Japan now, are we? Where's that? Are we on Earth, at least? What's on Earth? Must not panic! <sighs> <laughs> I know I'm a drop you just met, but it seems like all you do is kill slimes. Aren't there any other kinds of monsters? I'm afraid that it's only slimes here on level 1 of Tolulu. So why not just go to a different area? I'm not strong enough for that. You're handling yourself pretty well from where I'm standing. Oh, thanks for saying so. If I level up some, maybe I'll try level 2. Level up? You can level up? If I work hard. Here, let me show you where I'm at now. Ta-da! What's that? It's called a status board. And this is my current status. It's like a video game in real life. Her HP is B rank, and her strength is a C. As for the rest, build. Huh? It looks like there's a second page. There sure is! That's the page that shows how my drop stats are ranked. What do those particular stats do? High drop stats make it easier to get good drops, and to get them more often as well. As you can see, my highest drop stat is for plants. That's why I always get tons of bean sprouts here. I wouldn't call that plant stat high. It's just barely above the other ones. You want to take a peek at yours? Sure. So do I just touch that green thing? You got it! <sighs> oh, they're all shocking low. Level 1 out of 1. That doesn't mean level 1 is the highest I can ever reach, does it? Um, that's exactly what it means. Dude, not cool. Mm. Your drop stats are kind of sad, too. Uh, so basically I'm a pathetic piece of work, that right? Let's see here. A, B, C, T, E, F, Q, R, S. My, they're just so low. Huh? With drop ranks this low, I'd be surprised if you even got any drops at all. Wait a minute. You sure S rank is low? Huh? Pretty sure. No way. If gaming has taught me one thing, it's that S rank is the highest. Maybe that's different here? Only one way to find out. What are you looking around for? I need to get my hands on some kind of weapon. Thanks, that would be great. <laughs> This thing's got to weigh like five times as much as you! Oh, I'm so sorry about that! Here, try this one on for size! This should do the trick. A slime's coming your way now! Let's go! You ever gotten this many in a drop before? Not ever! I've been farming this area for two years. I've never seen so many sprouts drop! Guess I was right then. S is totally above A, just like the games we have back home. Wait, have you really not seen an S rank before? Not until you. I've never even heard of such a thing. I see. <laughs> Let's have a bite. Your tummy sounds hungry. Go on, eat your fill. Thanks so much. 
Can't wait to dig in. So good! The subtle spice of the chili oil, it perfectly complements the refreshing crispness of the bean sprouts! All we need now is a nice beer to go with it. Huh? You think so? Liquor's very expensive and I need to save all I can. Try some of this too. Alright, thanks. <laughs> wow. That's not it at all. It's been so long, but I can't remember the last time I sat down to a nice warm meal with someone to keep me company. I left early every morning and stayed late doing unpaid overtime, and then I just wolfed down something cold from the convenience store. That life wrecked my health until I was hospitalized. Then I felt obligated to make up for lost time. I missed the last train, so I took a little nap at my desk. And the next thing I knew, I was dropped by a slime. <laughs> Nothing I did ever paid off in any way. Every day was a living hell. I've heard that one's efforts always pay off in the end. Maybe this is your big chance to actually experience that. It may happen quickly or it may take some patience. But wait and see. Those who work hard will be rewarded. Even better. The longer you work hard without seeking a reward, the sweeter that reward will be when it finally arrives. The greater the tension, the greater the force. And the more satisfying the results. So it's pretty amazing what happened. You stayed strong your whole life. And now your reward is waiting in this new life. You worked so diligently all those long, hard years. And now, here you are. It's your turn to be rewarded. <laughs> Thank you. Hmm. I guess my next order of business is to find a place to stay. That makes sense. Luckily there's a town right outside the dungeon. You should be able to find lodging there. I should get some shut eye pretty soon as well. What? In the dungeon? That's right. My drops are not too impressive, so I don't have much in the way of money. But I dream of renting an apartment one day. Ah, uh. uh, I see. Oh! Here! Forget your weapon. Huh? Are you sure? It's dangerous to walk around unarmed. Thanks for this, but it's on loan. I'll return it someday. Sure. If you ever want to, you can always find me here on level one of Tululu. Oh, hey, what's your name? It's Emily Brown. Nice to meet you. Emily, huh? Well, my name's Ryota Sato. Hi! Yoda? Not Yoda, Ryota! Or? I think I'm getting a feel for things now. The currency here is Pilo. Those bean sprouts are worth 200 Pilo. A room costs 2,000 Pilo, and that's just for one night. A bowl of their ramen stand-in is 500 Pilo. I verified the prices of the things I want. Now it's time to make bank. <laughs> when I found out I was stuck at level 1, I thought I was for just another brand of hell, where all my efforts were doomed to be in vain. But with this fully OP skill that maxes out all of my drop stats, I can make this work! Huh? Where are we? A rental. Got it with three days of earnings. Three days? You're amazing, Yoda! Don't know about that. I mean, it's just a rundown 87-year-old apartment after all. There wasn't even a deposit or key money. But it was the best I could do on short notice. That's still amazing to me. How much does it cost? 20000 a month. That much? How impressive. Wow! And it's all yours! Well, not exactly. What's this? The key. Huh? Why are you giving it to me? You're gonna need that to live here from now on. To do what now? Live? I'll cover the rent, so nothing to worry about there. But I can't possibly accept this! It's for the soup. <laughs> It meant more to me than you could ever know. It was warm and comforting. This is the thank you. I wish it was a nicer place, but please live here. Thank you so much. Sure. Now I'll be on my way. Huh? Your hands, they're covered in blisters. Uh, oh, that reminds me. I might have gotten a little bit of blood on that spear you were nice enough to lend me, but I'll clean it up good as new, I promise. And you have bags under your eyes. <laughs> Once I get some sleep, I'll be unstoppable. I'll make 
you some soup. Sure, thanks. Yeah, just one bowl. Not one! I'll... I'll make you soup forever! So please don't go! Wait, um, does that mean. Is she asking me to live here with her? Can I do that? Okay. Oh, goodness! than it looks. Brought more goods for you, Erza. Sure thing. One little... Ricotta Sato, wasn't it? It's Ryota. Uh, sorry about that. But you've got to admit your name is a bit of a mouthful. <laughs> Today's total is 1,967. I'll tell you what. Since you always bring in such large amounts, I'll round up. How does 2,000 pilo sound, eh? It sounds great. But at the end of the day, sprouts are sprouts. You can only make so much with them. Maybe level 2 of Tolulu is calling to me. The monsters in that area drop tasty crunchy carrots. That's ridiculous! Absurd, even! But it appears that's how things work in this weird, wild world. Say, did you hear the news? There's a brand new dungeon that showed up not too long ago. Huh? Dungeons can just show up out of nowhere? Well, yeah. Just every now and then, of course. But this one has one of those names that's too impossible to pronounce. Nebo, uh, no, hold on. I think it's actually something like Nihonium? Nihonium, huh? That's easy enough. For you, maybe. Anyway, the Neptune's investigating, so they'll find out what the drops are there. We should know before too long. Um, what's the Neptune? You haven't heard about them? They're the most powerful organization in all of Sekro. Huh. <clears throat> I'm sorry, I didn't mean to linger. I'll be on my way now. No, no wait! Huh? There's a new little shop right around the corner from here. They're known for their cold and delicious beer later. Beer, you say? Hmm, thanks, but I think I'll have to pass this time. Later. Sure, that's fine. See ya. Oh, ice cold. For rejectee. What? You don't know what you're talking about? It's been years since I returned to a home where someone was waiting for me. What should I say? It's gotta be perfect. Hey, Emily, I'm home! Oh. Yay, I'm so happy to see you! Um, yeah, you too. Come in, I'm sure it's been a long day. Uh, is it me? This place is sparkling clean now. Sure is. I cleaned every nook and cranny. This goes way beyond cleaning. You didn't have to go all out like that. Did I go overboard? I mean, it was my first time cleaning up our beautiful home. I couldn't help but do my best. For you, Yoda, a nice hot towel. Oh man, this is heaven! And that makes you an angel! I also brewed some tea! You made me special tea too! Of course! Please have a seat and I'll be right back! You don't have to go to all this trouble. Why not stop and take a little break? You must be worn out. Well, being able to do things around my home is a dream come true for me! I'm so happy and not tired at all! Okay, if you say so. <laughs> yeah. By the way, I heard a rumor that a new dungeon showed up. Please do. Apparently it's pretty useless, Yoda. They say nothing drops at all. How could there be no drops whatsoever? In a world where every single thing is a dungeon drop, the idea of one with no drops is way too intriguing. A living soul feels abandoned. Maybe there really is nothing here. Huh? Dead meat. That's the extent of my level one power? Am I really stuck being so weak? What's that? Looks like a seed. Max HP increased by one. Huh? <sighs> You're still maxed out at level one, but somehow you managed to increase your max HP! <laughs> it's true. Somehow that little seed really did increase my stat. After that discovery, I got cozy killing skeletons. Things. Whenever Emily killed a skeleton, that OP seed never dropped. When she tries picking one of them up, her hand passes right through it. No matter how hard she tries, and that voice? Seems I'm the only one who can hear it. Ryota's max HP increased by one. I 
can't believe it. How is this possible? It shouldn't be. In this world, having drops that only certain people can touch wrecks the balance. It's not how things work here. A place like this dungeon shouldn't even exist. And yet, somehow it does. You're so special! I've never heard of anyone anywhere getting stronger without leveling up! In other words, Neonium here is a stat-increasing wonderland reserved for s ranks like me! So yummy! Emily's house is the best place in the world! So, will you be out late again tonight, Ryota? Yep. I've been busting my buns in Nihonium a lot lately. And my max HP has finally reached the highly coveted S rank. I'm gonna check out level 2 of Tolulu. I wanna see how much stronger I've gotten through all this. Hey, uh, what's with that look on your face? Please promise you won't be too reckless out there. Huh? You have a tendency to face challenges head on. I remember how you ran yourself ragged back when you first rented this apartment. And you've been out late every night recently. But I'd prefer it if you came home before. No one gave a damn about my well-being. But now... Sure, you got it. I'll be back home before nightfall. Thank you! <laughs> ah! Wait! I didn't actually hurt at all! Oh, I see! This must be because of my new S-rank HP! Drop a carrot! And it's enormous! <laughs> that one's way smaller than mine. What are you standing around for? You think a newbie like you can really hack it on level two? Hold on, I'll check out his stats. Easy scan. <laughs> level one. <laughs> <laughs> Better crawl back to level one unless you want to die, Whittle Baby. <laughs> that was uncalled for, jerk wads. Uh, uh, oh. Are those ears natural? Level one, is it? Uh, you talking about me? <laughs> yeah, guilty. Uh, you finished. Huh? They must love their carrot cake at the Swallow's Gratitude. They bought the whole bunch for 8,000 pilo. 8,000 pilo in one day? Wow. That's 240,000 pilo a month. That's way more than I was making at my old job. I kept a few for us to eat, too. Thought you'd like that. I'll make something extra tasty with them. Oh. Hello? The bunny girl from before. I hate your kind, low levels. Right, but did you have to come to my house to tell me that? You have something else to say? That I love you. <gasps> huh? Before I was reincarnated, I was a miserable salary man at a toxic company. Now I'm in a crazy world where everything's an item drop from monsters. In this new life, I'm stuck at level 1, but lucky for me, my unique skill has maxed out all my drop stats to rank S. I was also lucky enough to meet... A GINORMOUS GORILLA MONSTER?! Ooh, I wonder what rare goodie I'll get for defeating this bad boy! Hello? I hate your kind, low levels. Right, but did you have to come to my house to tell me that? You have something else to say? That I love you! Uh, hey, Yoda, why is there a rabbit here? Well, that's what I'd like to know myself. Do bowtie-wearing bunny girls live alongside regular humans in this world? Uh... Hey, what in the name of? Cut it out! I'm your... See that? Your low-level noggin survived the same shot! You hit me with... The same oh, amount of force? That's right, so how are you still standing? That's... I mean, uh... Probably because my HP's maxed out. Why are you here asking me weird questions? Uh, oh, simple. You dropped this in the dungeon! Those 
belong to us, you know. You can eat them with us if you like. <laughs> First off, we want to remove the peel. Then we slice them up into thin, uniform shapes so they cook quickly and evenly. Boil them just long enough so that they're cooked yet crunchy. The carrot skin and leaves make for a nice, savory sauce. All that's left is to combine everything on a plate to create a tri-color carrot delicacy. It pairs beautifully with carrot and bean sprout soup. And that's how it's done! Ah! Ah! Now, now dinner time! time. Let's, Let's eat! Oh, wow! Well, yum! It smells amazing! <laughs> I guess those ears aren't part of the costume. I'm not going to argue with you on that. Are you a goddess? <laughs> not quite, but I can't blame you for thinking so. Emily's cooking is totally god tier. Let's not go that far. Heat up. I made plenty for everyone. So please, have as much as you would like. Oh, I am stuffed. Thank you for feeding me carrots. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Oh, um. You can count on it. See ya. <laughs> that was a little strange. <laughs> and I just realized we didn't even find out her name. Hey, Yoda. Thank you for tonight. Huh? Before I came to live here, I always ate alone in the dungeon. Getting to share a warm meal with you and an unexpected guest was incredibly special. It made me really happy. It was the same for me. Every meal painfully lonely. If you don't mind, let's always eat like this. You and me together. Sure. This world has given me such a happy, cozy life. In order to protect it... <laughs> My HP is S rank, so that doesn't hurt. Ugh, but it's still gross! <laughs> oh, nasty! I could use a long range. <laughs> uh -huh. Seeds from this dungeon's first level raise my HP. What about the second? Sweet, a strength boost. Oh. Huh? Why are you here? <laughs> what did you get? Huh? The drop, what was it? Uh... Everyone believes there are no drops in Ehonium. But since my drop stats are S rank, I get OP stat boosts. I'd rather keep that to myself, in all honesty. Huh? Stay... The body can't be trusted. Get me carrots? Uh. Seriously? For your sake, I hope you do. And if I don't? It's death or carrots, baby! Our life depends on vegetables! I haven't found a single carrot. Let's go to Tulu instead. Fine, you win. I'll stop by Tulu later. Really? Sure. You go and wait for me at the Swallow's Gratitude. Ah, I'm I, Captain! <laughs> well, at least she's fairly low maintenance. Carrots. That's it. The seed ranked up my strength from F to D, and slime's got a lot easier to kill. I'm basically the god of carrots. There she is. What's happening? He's insane. No one in their right mind just walks up to the killer rabbit. Here, for you. <gasps> that fool has no idea what he's getting himself into. Say what? I love carrots so much! What? what? No way. way! How did that jokester find carrots that are good enough for the scary bunny? <laughs> Just so joy! You've got some issues, lady. Hey, Ryota? Huh? Are you friends with the bunny girl or something? Well, I've met her. Uh, I don't think friends is the right word, though. Eat as much as you want. I gave her some carrots, and now she's obsessed with me. Hand them over! I'll buy up the whole bunch from you for double their retail value! 
double? Sure, but why? How could you not know? That woman there. She's the one and only Eve Cause leader! An adventurer who's known for her natural bunny ears and overall bunny motif! They say her special move Excalibur is deadly and can cut a boulder in half! Ah, she's also a famous terracotta. There are carrot levels that only she has ever attained! Her catchphrase is death or carrots. It's rumored that people have actually been killed because they dare to give her less than ideal carrots! That's what we call too much information. Any carrots that earn Eve's seal of approval are sure to sell for the highest possible price! We here at the Swallow's Gratitude would do anything to get our hands on such fine stock! I'll give you 15,000 pilo per carrot! 15,000? Multiply by 30, that's... 450,000 pilo per month! I've got to thank her. Uh... Carrots before gratitude! Ah! Give me more carrots! That's all I've got for today! I'll give you some more tomorrow, okay? No! I hate you, low level! Enough! <laughs> oh. mm -hmm. My name is Ryota Sato, and it's rude to keep calling me low level. But carrots! I'm sorry. I promised Emily I'd stop working by a certain time. I'll bring you more carrots tomorrow, trust me! Death or carrots, baby. Hmm? <laughs> gotcha, death or carrots. Fine then. I'll see you tomorrow. Good night. <laughs> <laughs> More carrots. C. A. Double R. O. T. Whoop, 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 whoop. Carrots! Oh. Oh. Well, I'd say we're looking at another great haul today. Thanks. I'll be back with even more. Be careful, okay? Here it goes! I know! Ah! Oh, stay strong. What do you think you're doing? Forgive us, Captain! Finished. On to the next one. Sorry, sir. We need rest. Please, just for a moment. We're so tired. We haven't had a break in two days. Huh? Weaklings. When I was a young lad, I could spend weeks on end in a dungeon like this. That's how I earned my impressive strength. I know, but we've barely had any sleep. I'm pushing you so hard for your sake. Not really. You will grow stronger if you follow me. I wouldn't waste my time being so strict if I didn't believe in your potential. Yet it seems you two do not believe in me! No, that's not... Captain! Please forgive us, sir. That's more like it. Now, let's go. Yes, sir. That was brutal witness. I had a boss like him in my old life. He'd assign us impossible tasks, insisting it was all for our own good. I guess jerks are everywhere. Yoda? Hmm? Did something bad happen? You look like you've seen a ghost. Nah, it's nothing. We should take a break. You'll feel better after lunch. Whoa! This looks great! Let's eat! Huh? <laughs> Hey there! Carrot! You're just in time to join us for lunch, Eve! I tried making carrot pudding! Carrot pudding! I got it! <laughs> Rum, this is good too! It smells awesome! And I think there's a hint of something sweet in there! That's because I use sweet recipe! Cool! Less talking, more eating! Here, this has carrots in it too! <gasps> Cake of salt! <laughs> oh, this is the life! I feel so... I don't even know. Just so relaxed. Look here. Some wild slobs. I trust you two know better than to exhibit such laziness within a sacred dungeon. The items dropped by monsters have their own spirits. Your effort affects their quality. Drops found by lazy slugs will be utter trash. <laughs> uh, huh? 
eat the carrots. What is the meaning of this? I hate jerks who disrespect carrots. What? Carrots are delicious even if you didn't lift a finger. You little bitch. Low levels carrots are the best in the world. <laughs> Nonsense. Let's go. Yeah, sure thing. <laughs> oh, another haul of top quality carrots! To be honest, we got way more drops than that. This was just the most that we could carry. Wait a sec, are you saying that you don't have your own magic card? My own magic what? Like one of those. Huh? A magic card allows you to carry more items, which maximizes both your efficiency and profits. Whoa! All right, sign me up! Are we going to buy a magic cart? Yep. I'm liking the sound of Max Profits. I see loads of carts, so this must be the place Erza mentioned. Yay, a customer! Hello there, little one. Excuse me, can we speak with your mommy or daddy? Daddy's in the back doing modding. Your daddy is doing what now? Daddy! We have some customers! Ah, thanks, Olga. Good girl watching over the shop for me. <laughs> What's this? Ah, welcome. We're here to purchase one of your magic carts, sir. Well then, I've got just the thing for an adventurer such as yourself. I recommend this model. It comes equipped with a mo- Rally! It sounds really useful! Ah, mm. I modded it myself and can guarantee it works like a dream. I see. She was serious when she said that you were modding. So, how much does this one cost? It'll be ten million pilo. Ten million?! If money's a factor, then I have regular ones for two or three million. That's still very, very expensive. Cheaper also means less fun. I'm testing a new one with bells and whistles that'll make your eyeballs pop right out of your head. Just wait till that baby hits the market. Uh... Well, it turns out we're still poor by magic heart standards. We'll have to save up for one. Right! For now, let's head home for dinner. How much you want to bet Eve shows up? I'll be sure to make something with carrots. A stray's on the rampage! Hmm? Run! Help! A stray! What's a stray? It's a certain type of monster. When you leave drops behind in abandoned dungeons, that's when a stray can appear. That sounds bad. <laughs> It's heading straight for us! Let's get out of here! Somebody help! Even adventurers are running scared? It's not worth it to them without some kind of reward for the danger involved. What? So they just run? Daddy, stop! Hold tight, Olga! You two had better get going! Dishing out orders like that. Well, I've got this. Leave it to me. Take that. Nice one. Thank 
you! Ah! Ah, well done! Thanks, dudes! What's he doing? Never underestimate my unique skill! Game set. Match. You did it, Yoda! Gotta be the cheekiest low level ever. Huh? Yeah, that was unreal! Incredible! You saved the whole town, my good man! We owe you everything! You're our hero! You protected the town of Sekro from ruin! We are all in your debt! This feeling. Before I came here, I never made anyone happy. I never made a difference like this. But that's changed. Not just that. Somehow I've changed too. What's that sound? You hear something, Yoda? Emily, didn't you mention earlier that stra- That sound is unmistakable. And I am the only one who gets drops in Ehonia. There's a chance it'll be the same with the gorilla. <gasps> Seriously? Before I was reincarnated, I was a miserable salary man at a toxic company. Now I'm in a crazy world where everything's an item drop from monsters! In this new life, I'm stuck at level 1, but lucky for me, my unique skill has maxed out all my drop stats to rank S. Today, I face a whole new challenge, a super scary monster with freaky eyes and- wait, Emily? Never underestimate my unique skill! <sighs> Game set. Match. You did it, Yoda! Gotta be the cheekiest low level ever. That was incredible! If strays are a type of monster that never drop anything, then that means this weapon shouldn't even exist in this world. I may be stuck level 1, but thanks to the OP seeds I've been finding, my stats are getting better all the time. Alrighty then. Let's see if this thing's as cool as it looks. Oh. <sighs> Score. It's definitely a real gun. I made total mincemeat out of that zombie. Oh. <laughs> I wonder how I can get more bullets for this. Maybe the ammo will drop from strays like the gun did. I'll have to use it sparingly until I find out. Right? Thanks to this baby, my strength is now B rank. You and I should go and check out the next level later. That's fun! As my stats increase, so does the number of levels we can explore. Feels good being able to contribute like that. Huh? No Eve? I noticed too. Well, guess she must have had somewhere else to be. We can't expect her to join us for lunch every day. True, but we'll save these carrots for her just in case. Yeah, good call. She might swing by the house later. You know what? You make the best lunches in this world and the next. <laughs> Here, don't forget to drink your tea. Perfect, thanks. 
I have never felt so... So relaxed. <laughs> have you ever been down to this level before? No, hearing what items they drop. We'll be encountering cockro slimes and getting some nice pumpkins off them. Oh, more slime time. Oh well, it'll be worth it for the pumpkin drops. Hmm? Gross! Cockro slimes are freaking nasty! I bet they make girls run away screaming bloody murder! They look just like Earth cockroaches! Uh? Huh? Um, Emily? You probably didn't need to hit that hard. Silly Yoda. Of course I did. The tragedy will only spread if I don't destroy it completely. Don't be scary! Every last one must be eradicated. Right. Are you feeling okay? <laughs> hey, a drop. Look, I did it. <laughs> Well, those cockro slimes are good and dead. Let's get more carrots. Sure thing. We've got to get out of here ASAP. I never want to see horror movie Emily again. Huh? Each one you see means just one thing! There are 30 more disgusting beasts biding their time in the bitter time! Sweet Yoda, forgive me! I may never regain my humanity after this! Don't be hasty! Take deep breaths, I got this under control! Stay strong, Emily! I swear I'll get them all! <laughs> Can't miss a single shot! In my whole entire life, have I ever concentrated so intently on any task? That's a no. They're so big! Looks like another great haul for us! Yeah, too bad we can't possibly carry all of these. The infestation will return if we stay here, ready for more death. Let's calm down and assess our options! <laughs> Hello again, low levels. It's carrot time. Help yourself! <laughs> Eve, excellent timing. Thanks for another wonderful haul. It'll take a few more trips before we're done. Great. I'll be waiting. What the heck? Looks like some kind of animal had a feast. These things are in no shape to sell. Huh? They're here. No way! But we're outside the dungeon! I've lived my entire life for this moment of reckoning! You're doing the scary thing again! Done. They are all dead. I'm sorry about that. Those things just give me the heebie jeebies, so I go a little crazy when they're. <gasps> huh? You really didn't know? That's what always happens when you leave dropped items where there aren't any people around. It causes awful monsters to spawn in the area. I guess Emily mentioned something about that when the Gorilla Stray showed up. Still, it wasn't on my radar. Unfortunately, those jerks ruined the last of our pumpkins. Sorry. I know you were waiting for them. Oh, please don't worry about that one bit. We hadn't closed up yet anyway. Wait a minute. If it's technically possible to force strays to spawn, 
like that to means... ask you something. What would you think about maybe going out to dinner with me this evening? I found a great new restaurant and I thought if you want Thanks, to. Sirza. <laughs> Bye! <laughs> Once I dream up an idea, I have to act on it right away. I got this carrot into Lulu earlier. Hope it works. Uh. My monster bait caught you! Stop it! That carrot! The skies could come crashing down on all of us, and I still wouldn't give this precious jewel back! That's by far the longest sentence you ever said, and it was for that! Back to square one. It's a good thing I thought to bring so many. I can't believe she rabbited away with 9 out of 10, though. Uh. Here we go. <laughs> it worked! <sighs> the other adventurers can't get a drop from a stray. But I can. I wonder... If I did this with those monsters, what would happen? on me turning monster with the power of my unique skill it seems like something interesting should happen Ryota's max HP increased by zero I knew my HP was already maxed out still I thought doing this would let me carry the seeds back without consuming them guess not oh well it's about time I met up with Emily and Tolulu those drops aren't going to harvest themselves. Damn! It'll turn into a stray! Fine, it doesn't matter. What the... Hmm. That sounds about right. Monsters will disappear if they leave a dungeon. Just imagine how many strays we'd have running rampant if that weren't the case. So that's how it works. Even within a dungeon, they disappear if they enter a different level. You must have noticed there's only one type of monster on each floor. That's why. Right, that makes sense. It's surprising. You're such a talented adventurer. Yet somehow there's still so much you don't know. I personally think that contrast, um, is kind of charming. Bye! <laughs> My latest hunch turns out to be true. This method should work. It's time. Same as before. I only have a split second before it disappears. If I can kill it before that moment passes... It worked! I offed it outside its level, so that baddie should count as a stray! Ryota fired a freezing bullet. Freezing bullet? I've outdone myself this time. There's so much potential for how I could use this new ammo! attack its face off. It's a common combo in gaming. It seems to work in this world, too. Hey, Yoda! That was cool! But, uh, what kind of ammo was that exactly? A freezing bullet. It turns whatever I shoot at into ice. It takes some time to grind for those, though. So I have to use them carefully. 
They sound quite valuable. True. That's why I'll stick with regular bullets unless it's an emergency. It's up to you to finish the job if I miss. Think you can handle that? You can count on me! Looks like we dodged an epic downpour. Watch your step! You be careful as well! Deal! Get it up here already! You're out of your mind! Huh? You Are they fighting? I'm fighting? What did you call me? Excuse us, huh? we just need to sneak by you real quick. Ah! It's my lucky day! Bring that cargo up here for me! This fool will pay you for the effort! Uh -huh. Awkward. What kind of cargo? I mean, that thing way down there. Uh, that's not an easy favor you're asking of us. If someone could drop a rope down, I could maybe pull it off. Don't do it. It's not safe because it's been down there far too long. So I could turn into a stray any second. That thing's loaded with drops from some truly troublesome monsters. We must burn it all with magic while we can. Not a uh, chance! Uh, what are you doing? That perfume is worth a hefty fortune! Your tiny brain can't begin to fathom how many adventurers I had to hire to get my hands on that much of it! You think I care about that? You're the one who dropped it in the first place! The rain made you lose your footing! Well, guess what, fool? You're on fire! That's one very powerful old man! Damn, guess I was too late. What's that? A monster called a Femini. It lacks a body. That's why it possesses humans. To propagate. Disgusting! Let's try this instead. <laughs> done and done. There! What do you think you are doing? I have to stop this. If I don't, more Femini will keep spawning. I'm going to go down there and let one possess me. That will buy you some time. Go into town and come back with an army. If we do, what will happen to you? Nothing that I don't deserve. I was the escort for this mission. The responsibility is mine alone. Uh-oh. You've really done it now. The client is utterly furious with you. I'm sorry. So sorry. Very sorry. Gotta start all over now, don't you? Say goodbye to sleep for a week. Have fun with that. Yes, sir. Man, I'd rather die than be him. Hey, can I... It was my mistake, so the responsibility is mine alone. You have your own work to worry about, Sato. It's okay. My heart was screaming at me to help him out, but in the end... All I could think about was my own sorry self. There's no time! You have to run! No! I'm going to stay and help! I'm different now. Better. The whole reason I'm working hard to power up... like crazy I sure did I could feel myself getting stronger Femini are incredibly powerful monsters and you took out quite a few in one go I'm not surprised your level went up I couldn't have done it without you it was such a very lucky day for me when we met and I have a feeling it's gonna keep getting luckier you're wrong about just one thing I'm the one who's lucky oh you really think so we feel the same
Before I was reincarnated, I was a miserable salary man at a toxic company. Now I'm in a crazy world where everything's an item drop from monsters. In this new life, I'm stuck at level one, but lucky for me, my unique skill has maxed out all my drop stats to rank S. Today, I'll be facing off against a rare monster. I had no idea drops from monsters could be used like that. this no idea i've never seen a rare monster drop something before wait a sec uh. it's a necklace and i think maybe you should try it on uh, but what does it do come on emily i want you to have it you mean it's like a present that means so much to me <laughs> me too you deserve to collect all the goods for both of us wait are you talking about item drops yeah, I'm surprised you didn't hear it. Must be all of the seeds and stuff. Turns out that item drops are doubled when you're wearing it. You're a little late, Yoda. What do you mean? I really could have used that information before I put it on! Uh, somehow that's not making sense to me. Wow! Ah! Look how many there are! They're double drops? Because they have everything! you need help with anything? No, I got this. I'll be finished in no time. Man, cooking in such a small space must suck. So, I was thinking, maybe we should go somewhere new. Uh, like a vacation, or like you want to move? Move? With what we're making now, it feels like a good time to start looking for a bigger place. Oh, if that's what you want. What kind of place would you prefer to live? No. Oh. That should be something you choose on your own. Uh, wait, are you saying that I can go with you? Yeah, obviously. But we should definitely save a little more money before we start looking. I have no problem working for it. As long as we don't exhaust ourselves. I know what you mean. I'll sell some more bamboo shoots tomorrow. That's it, okay? Mm -hmm. Is that... Uh, sorry, these are a little hard to appraise. Pardon me, are those bamboo shoots I see? If so, I'd love to take them off your hands. Huh? I mean, I can't just give them to you, but you can have one. Oh, thank you! One of these, please! Uh... Hmm. <laughs> oh, sweet! No, do they really taste that awful? I can't believe it's not bitter even though it's raw! Ah! Or I might even call it sweet! Never have I ever had a bamboo shoot like this! I mean, it's like, whoa! It's like a rare flavor monster! Who the heck is she? These bamboo shoots are just divine! How about I buy all of them? Uh, I don't know. We were about to... Oh, I don't mind. If she wants to buy all of them for me, she totally can. Okay, then sounds like they're yours now. Well, if you're sure... I wouldn't know how to put a price on the greatest flavor I've ever tasted. Please accept this token of my thanks. The way she's talking, I hope she just handed me a small fortune. Best of luck, Bamboo Shoot Boy. 20,000? That's a good deal, right? I mean, it's a lot to pay for some bamboo shoots, isn't it? So only a total jerk would feel slighted. Do you have any idea who that was? No, someone important? Important doesn't begin to cover it! That was Eric Macy, the Epicurean! Any food she says she likes instantly results in the highest demand among the gourmet foodie crowd! That's cool. Listen up! Uh, Let's skip the formalities! Would you like to sign an exclusive deal with us? Exclusive? Your bamboo shoots are about to become the hottest produce in all of Sekro! As soon as that happens, I want to have the right to sell them as a branded product! Their official name will be Ryota's Bamboo Shoots! A branded product? Obviously, that would be great for me, but are they really worth Absolutely. it? Absolutely! Oh. I'll pay you a signing bonus, okay? That's on top of the cost of the shoot. I'll do it. Huh? I trust that you know what you're doing. Happy to partner with you, Erza. Hmm. 
<laughs> Likewise. Okay. I still gotta focus on raising my strength stats today. I'll be an S rank if I keep working. Huh? Who's that? <sighs> Look out! Go now! Right! What's that all about? Excuse me, sir, you're in our way. Our Princess Margaret has important work she needs to do. Princess? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> you have a princess too, huh? This world just keeps getting better and better. She's working with an airbox right now. What's an airbox? Well, I'm sure you've seen that when you kill the monsters, they sometimes don't drop anything, right? Yeah. I mean, I've heard that most people have that experience here anyway. Apparently it's pretty useless, Yoda. They say nothing drops at all. Turns out, according to our research, when the monsters are defeated, they are actually dropping air. No way! Oh yes, so we decided to put the dropped air in a box and sell it. Keep in mind that this air has been handpicked and rescued by Princess Margaret. I'm impressed that you had the idea to sell people air. Yeah! It's our best-selling item to date! <laughs> For real? I guess it's the princess effect. Is that a magic card I see? Yeah. That's how we carry a bunch of air boxes at once. Can't have the princess running in and out of the dungeon too many times, can we? I feel ya. That's so smart. I can't imagine how much more efficient this way must be. Man, I've wanted a magic card for ages, but those things are not cheap. I'm going to need to talk this over with Emily. So, yeah, I'm conflicted. I think a magic card makes sense. We could use it to enhance our business and make money even faster to save up for the kind of place we want. That's a good point. But it means that we'd have to put off moving. And I feel bad for keeping you here longer. Oh, I'm perfectly fine here. I mean it. I've been enjoying my life with you. I find this little house so cozy. Are you sure? Well, all right. Then I guess it's you and me in this tiny house for a little while longer. I like it. Me too. We should go to the magic card shop tomorrow then. Oh, I really hope the owner's sweet little girl Olga will be there again too. Do you hear that? It sounds like Olga crying. <laughs> What's the matter? Daddy! My daddy! Did something happen to your daddy? Do you? Do you know when daddy will be home? No, we don't. When did he leave here? Did he happen to tell you where he was going? Nuh-uh. All he said was that he was gonna pick some flowers. Flowers? He was looking for flower drops. The only place near here that has them is a dungeon called Arsenic. So there's a good chance that he's still there, right? Hmm. <laughs> you ready? Uh, Let's go to Arsenic! Okay! I wonder how many of them there are. Oh, never mind, I shouldn't have asked! Oh, gross! So this is arsenic. They won't hurt you. Those monsters are called Dandarox and they won't ever move or attack you at all. I see. Then we can easily... <laughs> never mind, I was wrong. Guess we have to kill them. I'm sorry. It bounced right off! I have an idea! Stand back! Huh? Brilliant! So combining your increased power and the strength of that hammer is the perfect solution for this! Way to go, Emily! <laughs> Not bad, huh? <laughs> there he is! I can see Olga's father! Are you okay? Oh no... He's asleep? Hey, wake up! Hmm. He's out like a light. Uh, um, Emily? Olga's been worried sick about him and he's in here napping away. Dad, you're gonna wake up right now! <laughs> What's going on? Oh, it's just you two. Ooh, you really know how to screw up a good nap. Tell me, of the dreamland. <laughs> I'm so sorry, I meant no harm. Why are you here? Olga was worried about you. Was this really that important? I came here to gather some parts, primarily light and heavy rocks that are difficult to transport. It's for my new magic heart prototype. I caught the heavy rock already. As for the light rock, well, that's when the dander rocks blocked my path and I wasn't able to get around them, so I failed. What prototype? The one you mentioned before? Look there. That's the one. Huh? Wait, is that rock flying? That's how the light rocks are. They're lighter.
than air, and they're also rare monsters, so it's not like I can just grab one. Yeah, I get it. Must be tough to do by yourself. But I bet two people could handle it. Huh? Don't get me wrong, Emily. You're light, but that hammer is not. Um, I'm sorry. Are you gonna be okay? Oh, yeah. I'm golden. I boosted my strength up to rank S back when we were in Nihonium. I'll try to get this done quickly! Ah! Oh, this is exactly what I needed! I agree, it's pretty. But why did you need it? Let's step outside and I'll show you. There. Now we just wait for a little bit and see what happens. If it turns into... There was a ceiling in the dungeon. But not here. Yes, and that's the thing. We'll just have to run as fast as we can and grab it before it's out of sight. So basically, it's all up to chance. I wonder if there's anything I can do. Should be any minute now. That's it! It's time to grab my drop! No! We're not done yet! What did you do? This little guy might be lighter than air, but that coat of ice will bring it right back down. That was amazing, Yoda! <laughs> the great artisan Orton's latest magic cart is finally complete! Please take it with you. Are you kidding? We can't accept such an expensive gift! Don't be silly. It's not a gift, it's a reward for everything you did to help me today. We didn't do that much. You protected our town the other day, or have you forgotten? You're the new hero of Sekro. I believe that deed deserves some kind of reward, don't you? <laughs> Promise me you'll take good care of my daddy's magic card, okay? That's not fair. Hard work you've done. A reward. I see. I'll use it with all my gratitude. Perfect. Whoops, looks like it's over full. Even if we take a few out, we'll still have at least twice as many in here than usual. Yeah, this magic heart is really no joke. It's amazing. We should thank Orton and Olga. Duh! Thanks to them, we've got plenty to sell. I'm gonna drop these off at Erza's place. Sounds good. Tell her I said hello. I'll head home and start dinner. <laughs> Count it again! I'm sorry, sir. I've tried everything I could. There's just not enough in here to make sense. Yeah! Oh, come on! I know this is worth more than 10,000 pilo! You're just making up prices as you go because you don't want to let go of the cash! Fair is fair! Cough it up! I deserve 20,000 for putting up with such bad service. The list price is just 8,400 pilo for what you've brought in today. I do apologize, sir, but I can't offer you any more than that. Uh -huh. You're calling your loyal customer a liar! Uh -huh. Where'd this come from? I think she's had enough. <gasps> Ryota! Wasn't talking to you! You're accusing Erza of lying about the prices, and she is- Check that out. He's got Orton's latest magic cart. How did he get all those bamboo shoots? I'm about to make you pay for that little stunt. <sighs> How much would it cost me if I wanted one of these green onions here? Uh, it's 120 pilo. That sounds good. This is a magic cart. I was told it was made with rare monsters from arsenic or something. One of its tricks is detecting the weight of all its contents and calculating the amount at which they'll be sold. 8,400 pilo. That's exactly the amount that she was quoting you when I walked in the door. That thing's rigged! You like going around scamming people? I just came in here to trade like you, but I'm flattered you think I could pull off something like that. Shut your mouth! Bamboo shoot grower! I'll break you and your stupid card! Ryota, watch out! Stop that! You look tired. I'm gonna need you to take a little nap. You didn't have to bail me out again. You shouldn't have to put up with that crap. But I always will. No matter what comes with being an item trader. Adventurers who risk their lives and limbs to get their hands on them. So when they come in, they feel entitled to the highest quality of service. I'm happy to give it to them. And I want people to feel comfortable selling to me. But 
If I'm being saved every time there's an issue, it makes things more tense. And I mean that for me, too. Oh, come on. Don't feel like that. Huh? What's wrong with somebody wanting to help you out? We all need help sometimes. I mean, just think about how many times you've helped me. Actually, I wouldn't say that. Honestly, I can't think of anything that I've done for you. No matter what I bring in, you buy it for me with a friendly smile. And that always lifts my spirits. That's different. I know you want customers to feel comfortable, but they should know that if they disrespect you, I'll show up. Your comfort matters too, doesn't it? Right. Of course. There's nothing I could do that would come close to the amount of happiness I get just seeing you every time I come in. Okay, that happened! Just in case there's any doubt, that wasn't part of an item trade. That was a kiss from me simply because it felt right. All I ask is that you remember it after you leave here. Good talk, but I need to get back to work now. Remember the old days when the most money we could make in one hall was 20,000 pilo? Just barely! Two hundred thousand?! I could buy over six thousand bean sprouts with that amount! And with all that we've saved up... We can, can finally, finally buy, buy a new house! house! <sighs> Feels surreal saying goodbye to this old place, huh? And there's an element of sadness in it. A little bit. I mean, so many memories. Yeah, I never realized how much security it brings. You know, just having a place. Somewhere to go home to. True, I get that. 200,000? After killing slimes for three days, we finally saved enough to pay rent on our new place. I know it's no small amount, but... Are you okay? Emily? What if we were to keep our lease on this house too? Then we can just come back home anytime we feel like it. Really? Could we do that? Wouldn't it be expensive to keep both of them though? We've been working hard for so long to save money for more space. But what we wanted was more of our home. More of what's precious. If we lose that, we'll have nothing. I agree with you. Risen. Well, good morning to you, Yoda. Sleepyhead. Your breakfast is ready. Oh, <laughs> you still make the best breakfast in the whole wide world. Trust me, no one's a bigger fan of Emily's carrot dishes than me. Hang on, when did you get here? Who let you in? Where there are carrots, there will be rabbits. <laughs> I figured I'd made too much food, so it's no problem at all. Man, how did we get so lucky? Whatever, Whatever let's, let's eat! eat. Before I was reincarnated, I was a miserable salary man at a toxic company. Now I'm in a crazy world where everything's an item drop for monsters! In this new life, I'm stuck at level 1, but lucky for me, my unique skill has maxed out all my drop stats to rank S. And today I'm... being hugged by a mummy, practically stalked by some pretty boy, and swarmed by... If you're watching me, <sighs> for skeletons, then zombies, and now mummies too. Dark theme. Man, that last one was rough. <laughs> I'm out of bullets. Great. Hmm. Ryoka speed increased by one. My speed, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Get off me! Uh. Well, that's right. 
My strength is at S. Probably better off using my hands here. <laughs> Ryo Sato, isn't that right? Yeah? Thought so. Great. My name's... <laughs> so, is this the guy now? Yes, seems like it. Wait, you mean the guy? Hmm. How do they know who I am? Why are they just staring at me like that? So, uh, what can I do for you three? I was hoping for an arm wrestling match. Okay, never heard that one before. I'm quite curious about this power you have. Fascinated. I've heard so much, you've filled me with intrigue. Huh. What do you say? You up for a match with me? Is he for real? All airbrushed and chiseled with cute girls dangling off of him? think he is I can't wait to shoot him down yeah you're on let's do it glad to hear that well then you ready sure and go <laughs> oh man he's strong <laughs> Did Neptune actually lose? <laughs> You're really good at that. Yeah, you too. Wait a minute. Is he... Um, what's the Neptune? You haven't heard about them? They're the most powerful organization in all of Sekro. Like that Neptune? Hey, would you like to go another round? <sighs> no, I'm good. I think we've made enough of a scene here already. Aww. I see. Very well then. In that case... Seriously?! What the hell is wrong with you?! Wow! You're not half bad. In fact, I like you. Tell me, any interest in joining our family? Huh? For real? He just got scouted by the Neptune family. No kidding. And by the leader himself. Uh... What? You turned down Neptune? Yeah. Why wouldn't I? I didn't come here to join a group. Great time living here with just you, you know? It's home. Uh, oh, I'm so happy to hear you say that. I feel the same way. <laughs> it's weird how cocky you are for a low level. Huh? What? What'd you get here? Anyway, that really is impressive. You got scouted by Neptune. What an honor. I'm sure you've been on his radar because you've helped out so many people. I'm proud of you. You're a hero, Yoda. <sighs> a hero? That's what she called me. So, we meet again. What? Oh. Uh, a lot of boxes. Oh, you noticed them? This is our company's latest product. It's called Pandora's Box. Pandora's Box, huh? Yeah, and lucky you. Right place and time. Hmm? Observe as it automatically absorbs dropped items, and then, for an added bonus, displays the face of the person who found them. Ah! See, there are still a few who don't believe our air was really harvested by the princess. So he invented these items to fix that. Hey, you're an adventurer, aren't you? <clears throat> I'll give you a few. Use them well. I don't think I need this many. Uh, but if they actually do suck up all dropped items automatically, then... Da -da 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 -da! <laughs> I was right! Thank you, Pandora, for helping me finally take the seeds outside the dungeon. And if I can take them out... I can get some freezing bullets without going through hell to find them! Wait... Hang on... 
if I have this box? Huh? Yoda, what are you doing here? Oh, hey, Emily. Hello. Getting in some shooting? They're coming. Hmm? Oh my gosh! It worked! I knew it would! There they are! <sighs> Have I now? Then fire comes after ice. So what's this one our mummy friend left behind? Yoda, what just happened? How are you doing that? Hold on, so these... This is awesome! I gotta get more! <laughs> Check out all these special bullets I scored! Wow, that's amazing! Right? I'll show you the last thing I learned. <laughs> What's the matter? Um, I just felt a really powerful chill. A chill? Ah! <gasps> That's what I forgot! I came here to warn you about it! About what? The magic storm! There's one on its way now! I don't like the sound of that. Uh... <sighs> so, um, is Emily not with you today? No, unfortunately. She had some shopping to do, so... We're working separately this time. Oh, that makes sense. What with the storm coming and all. Huh? So, is there some kind of connection between these storms and shopping? Yeah, sort of. That's an odd way to put it, though. Hold on a minute! Are, are you saying you've never heard of a magic storm before? Actually, I have. I mean, Emily told me a little. But she didn't know much about them either. I give up. Why don't you enlighten me? Always happy to help. Magic storms are natural phenomena. However, they tend to happen very rarely. It's basically a time when everyone's magic skills are suddenly restricted. Like, they can't use magic at all? Right. And depending on how big the storms are, the effects can reach beyond the town to the dungeons as well. Wow, that's kind of scary. The storm that's coming is one of those, the kind that reaches the dungeons. You can't be caught off guard. That's why everyone who uses magic is taking the day off to prepare. But, that leads to reduced availability of drops from dungeons people are supposed to receive. They have less currency in hand, and it affects the way they shop. I can see that. Someone please! I need help! Huh? Help me! Anyone! My partner Rosa has been left behind back in Silicon! That's Reyes! What's Silicon? It's one of the dungeons that's intended for magic users. What? Didn't you say all magic users were taking the day off? Reyes and Rosa just came to Sekro recently. I'm guessing they must have found out about the magic storm a little too late. <laughs> so, why won't they help? Tragic, isn't it? Huh? Going here anyway! I came to see if maybe you'd changed your mind. No, I haven't. Well, that's a shame. Anyway... Of all places, it had to be Silicon. Why? What do you mean by that? The monsters there. They're seriously difficult. Even I'm staying as far away as I can. Even you, huh? The thing is that monsters in Silicon take nearly zero damage from non-magical attacks. That's right. So they have my condolences. But I can't put my life on the line. Not for a complete stranger. <sighs> I'm proud of you! You're a hero, Yoda! <clears throat> Please, somebody have mercy, please. Hey. <laughs> I'll help you. Just tell me what I need to do. <laughs> it was me, Ayla. <laughs> Erica, what you doing? Oh, it smells just like Ryota. Please use this box. Get enough? Go to level three. You should be able to find Rosa down there. <laughs> That's a fire bullet. Yes. There, that should stop it from turning into a stray. 
My special bullets are still working during the magic storm. Awesome! I'll actually be able to save her! Wow, there's a ton of them here. Got it! Hey, Yoda! Sorry to keep you waiting! Emily! What is it? Wait, what's Yoda's cart doing here? He had to run. Something suddenly came up. What? Is he in trouble? Uh. This is it. Already? Tight. I'll be. That was not the time. I'm out of bullets. Hey, Silicon is that way. Don't go there. It's dangerous. Well, we don't really have a choice at this point. Agreed. Low levels of carrots are important feeding. No, that's not the reason I want to help him. Hmm? Okay, then why? Because Yoda reminds me of someone. He's just like my mother. <laughs> well, Mom, that was amazing! Thanks, and I'm glad you're here to learn how I handle these things. Are you guys okay? Oh, uh, yeah. You need to thoroughly understand what you're capable of before taking on a dungeon. Otherwise, you're just setting yourselves up for failure. Yes, yes. ma'am. Good. I think that's enough lecturing for today. Time to live it up, right? If she ever found someone in trouble, she'd help them and lecture them, and then show them a good time. They loved her. My mother was both strong and kind. But then, one day... <laughs> hey, what's wrong? We're in serious trouble. You better run. It's looking like a stray dragon. <laughs> Don't you worry. Everything will be fine. I promise. I'm gonna stay and take care of this, all right? I want you to go with the others. Understand? Yeah, okay. Mommy, uh. no! Mommy! Please don't be upset. Are the others safe? I'm so glad. I'm not crying now. The time for that will come later. <gasps> Take me away from here. I need to be with the others. But I'm going to need your help. I don't want my items to turn into strays. Can you do that? Yes. You know the way. Will you continue going into the dungeons after this? Please don't be reckless. Not just for your safety, but for those who love you, okay? She was concerned for... My mother was a hero! Bullets aren't cutting it. Crap! Yoda! Emily? Whoa. What the? Why are there zombies? You go ahead. We'll take care of her. You need to handle all the strays. We brought more bullets for you. Oh, you two are lifesavers. Thank you. Both.
I'll take it from here. He's hurt. I won't be able to use healing magic during the storm. What do I do? No need to worry about that. Huh? Hmm. What was that? It's a healing bullet. Ryota acquired a healing bullet. Hold on, so these... Sorry I didn't explain it, but that ought to do the trick. Rosa! Thank you! Thank you so much! Truly! How cool! We saved her! <laughs> and great idea, by the way! I'm super impressed! Way to go! It really wasn't that big of a deal, honestly. I only imitated what I've seen you do! Regardless, you saved my life. And I'm grateful to you. You- Right, maybe we should get something to eat before we go home. You two must be tired. I'd rather eat at home than stay out. Huh? Yeah, but I'm not a good cook, and I don't want you to have to do it. It's fine. Let's go. Huh? Huh? I'm enjoying my life very much. I always wonder if you're watching me. Are you, Mom? Before I was reincarnated, I was a miserable salary man at a toxic company. Now I'm in a crazy world where everything's an item drop for monsters! In this new life, I'm stuck at level 1, but lucky for me, my unique skill has maxed out all my drop stats to rank S. And today, I'm working on getting my license, while simultaneously dealing with another gorilla? But it's fine, because I end up meeting a mysterious girl who knows how to use fire magic! What the heck is happening out here?! I got some new watermelon drops today. Think you could appraise them for me? Huh? Right. Wow, that looks amazing! Another job well done, Ryota. Give me just a minute to gather some things from the back. I'll be right with you. That won't be necessary. Hmm? I'm ready to assess your sea. Oh! oh my! The refreshing texture and juicy sweet flavor fulfills my soul! It's like I'm on a beach with the sun blazing down while the soft breeze blows gently against my skin! What's that? Watermelons from the guy who makes Ryota's bamboo shoots? First bamboo shoots? And now watermelons? I gotta try a bite. Hey, that's mine! Put them uh, down and back away! They all want them! Would you be willing to let us sell your watermelons exclusively in our store as well? Yeah, sure. Wow. The watermelons are just as popular as the bamboo shoots! All right! Nothing wrong with finding another reliable source of income! Oh, Ryota! Are those watermelons still dropped on the fifth level of Tululu? Uh-huh. I hope that means you've gotten your license? What license? Um, the one that gives you permission to start exploring dungeons that are lower than level six. Because dungeons get more dangerous every fifth level, it ensures you have the ability to survive. And each town has its own policy. Oh. In Sekro, there's a new license every five levels, and traders aren't permitted to buy items dropped in those levels if the adventurer doesn't have the appropriate license. I get that. But we keep people from putting themselves in danger to score more valuable items. Yes, and it's a firm rule. So I recommend getting a license to make things easier in the future. Guess this is it. Uh, hi, I'd like to get a license. Is this the right place? Your achievements? Uh, when they ask about your achievements... Oh, uh, I've been bringing back watermelons from the fifth level of Tululu, regularly. <sighs> Tululu, huh? Come this way. What's this problem? I'll talk about attitude. <sighs> this melon was dropped at level six or lower in Tululu. I'm going to turn it into a stray. If you can defeat it, you pass. Be ready. You haven't seen this on any other level before. That's what I was hoping for.
Here goes. <gasps> Looks like that one's a steel slime. It's so tough, blades are useless against it. That's fine. I'm not gonna wait to see what it does. I'll show it what I do with my rank and strength. <laughs> that really is hard to steal. Ow! Be careful. It's no problem. I've got a plan that should prove interesting. All right, slime, let's see what you've got! That's a fire bullet, but it doesn't seem to be working yet. Wait, just give me a minute. And now it's a freezing bullet. Hold on, watch this part. See? Whoa! How did you do that? Temperature extremes. I hit it with the powerful fire bullet and then immediately froze it with a freezing bullet. It makes the metal brittle, which weakens it to order. Amazing. Guess the joke's on me. You're really something, kiddo. You have my approval as an examiner. Your secro license for level six and beyond is approved. Congratulations. Look at my shiny new license. Congrats. You truly deserve it. I've been working here for over ten years. I've never been so impressed. Secro's future <laughs> sure is looking bright. How to make this a consistent gig and get those regularly. Yoda? Oh, that's right. I've got some preparing to do. Emily! <laughs> I'm gonna need your help. There's something important I have to find. Looks like we finally made it. Let's go! When you said you needed 1.5 million Pilo because you wanted a tuna, I have to admit, you really threw me for a loop. I've got a theory I've been wanting to test out. But the first step is turning this tuna into a stray. The stray looks kind of familiar! <laughs> Don't worry, I can handle this. I'll hit it with a freezing bullet first. I should immobilize it. Sorry, man. It sucks that this is the same gun, but I gotta do it. Drop guns as well as the ammunition. Now I can be a double pistol wielder. This is gonna make it a lot easier to handle special bullet combinations. Why do you need two guns? You've got me worried. Please don't get too excited and end up being evil. Huh? Oh, come on! It's fine. As long as I have you around, I'll be as peaceful as a dove. Hmm. Hmm? Did something happen? Uh, actually. We've got a strike on our hands. Doesn't sound like things have been as peaceful here. The Adelbeard group occupies level 6 of silicon, and that's the only place to get rice. But now they're telling me that if I don't raise the price of rice in Sekro, then they won't sell me anymore. I suppose the first thing I should do is find whoever's in charge and talk to them. Well, well, if it isn't Sato. Mm -hmm. Oh, Neptune. Hi. Surprised to see you. I'm guessing that you're here because of Adelbeard as well, aren't you? Yeah, so are you then? I came by request. Request? Idlebear does this quite a lot. As a result, the people in town are finally running out of patience. So, I've come to see if I can find a more permanent solution to the problem. Are you trying to say the Neptune group's here to get rid of them for good? No, not quite. Huh? Less getting rid of, more destroying. Question for you. What is it? Would you be opposed to me handling it? You want to be the one to destroy them? Get rid of. See, this is what you're doing wrong. You gotta go in there and... Hmm? Stand back! Who are you? Entry to this level is forbidden! So, you're gonna use force? Get out here! We've got townies trying to muscle their way in! To me. This is a healing bullet. All it does is heal wounds. But when two are fused together, it becomes a sleep bullet, and it'll knock your target right out. Yep, getting a second gun opened up a whole new world of possibilities for me. What can be accomplished with two guns? I tested out a whole mess of theories I had. 
did you do that? I shot a freezing bullet and a fire bullet at the exact same time, which apparently turns them into an erasing bullet. Erasing? That's so cool! It seems like you've been able to do so much just by using one bullet combo. I took her observation as a generous hint and started trying several other bullet combinations. There are any number of bullet fusions just waiting to be discovered, all because I made the wise decision to get a second gun. Ah, so you're actually doubling their healing power. That's exactly it. Right, I gotta get these guys outside. Why, yes, I would love help. Thank you so much. Uh... Well now, if it isn't the infamous Ryota Sato. Wait for it, and... <laughs> Thank you for coming by. As you may know, I'm Clint Gray, the Dungeon Chief of Sekro. The Dungeon Chief? What, doesn't ring a bell? It means I hold a position of considerable authority in town. Okay. Let's cut to the chase, shall we? There's a favor I would like to ask of you. There is? Yes, I want to request your assistance in the battle for a new dungeon against our neighboring city of Hetero. We're fighting over a new dungeon? It's a sticky situation. The dungeons that lay to the east of Sekro have meat as drops, and we all know Hetero is the livestock city. Well, I didn't. But an unusual dungeon was recently discovered halfway between Hetero and Sekro. Strangely, the drops in this one appear to be divided evenly between vegetables and meat. If there were more vegetables, then Sekro could claim it free and clear. Okay, so they decide ownership by the ratio of the drops. Cool, but is it necessary to pick which city it'll belong to if people from both can hunt there? Hey! A tax is applied to the sale of every single dropped item, you fool! Which uh, means dungeon ownership makes a huge uh, difference in a town's economic health! Right, S sorry. Mm. No, I apologize for losing my composure. Allow me a moment to cool down. That's hardcore! Guess they don't know about diabetes here. Anyway, since meat and vegetables are found in equal proportions there, we decided that we determine its ownership based on who gets more rare drops. As you've become well known around the city for both your strength and your high drop rates, I knew you were just the person we needed. You'll be compensated, of course. Cash payment if we lose, and an exemption from taxes on all dropped items you receive henceforth if we win. What do you say? Will you accept this challenge? It's nice, having my work recognized, and knowing that people depend on me. I'll need to bring my guns, and I should have plenty of special bullets ready. So that just leaves the magic cart, a change of clothes... <laughs> Feels like I'm getting ready for a business trip. Back then, I worked too hard, pushed myself to breaking. But now, I've got Emily to look out for me. Emily... Right! That's the story. So I'll be heading out to this new dungeon, Selen. Really? Wow! Just like the Neptune group does! Being asked to go and inspect a dungeon is a seriously big deal! Oh yeah, I recall hearing they were the ones who checked out Nihonium. It'll do great! And don't worry, I'll be right here holding down the fort while you're away! Um, I was hoping you could come too. What? You want me used to you there? That's not true! Just having you there will be a huge help. Carrots! <laughs> You're here? Focus! What about my carrots? It'll be alright. We'll get as many as you need before we leave. Huh, you better. It's so empty. Well, most things become strays. Except for three. Air, water, and earth. Other than places with lots of people, like towns and dungeons, it's this way everywhere. Oh, wow. Still crazy how desolate it is. This world is so strange. Hey, what you doing down there? Traveling between towns can be really tough. I want to leave a little something along the way, in case it helps cheer up anyone who passes after us. Draw a circle like the sun, make it nice and big and round. Add another what you got, a little face just waiting to be found. Oh! I can't forget the body. There, it's standing nice and tall, so people remember to keep their heads up no matter what. Swish, swish. Whoops! I need to add some pupils to the eyes! Ahem. It's all done, can you see a friend for you and me? Hmm. Um, what is it? Source of both energy and happiness! Right, of course. Here, let me. Wow, you're 
You're a pretty good artist. It's a cute buddy you gave him. Oh, thanks. Yours is cuter, though. There, now it's really done. Okay, are you ready to get moving again? Yep, let's go. Hey, Yoda, can you hold up that side, please? I think so, yeah. And, huh, there, now we're all set. A backpack that small had a tip this big in it? It's time for me to show off my real skills. But first, could you go and fetch some water for us? Sure. What is going on in there? Roughing it in the wilderness like this is a big change after living in a nice cozy house with Emily for so long. I got up super early to go find carrots too. No Rebel, nice job. Sure hope I left enough of them. I'm finished. You wanna see? Yeah. What? Where in the world did you get all this? A warm light illuminating the space? A comfy like seriously good food! Emily can transform even a humble tent into a home! Wait, you didn't say, where did all this furniture and food and stuff come from? Huh? Here, I made sure to pack everything we would need. It was pretty heavy, though. What kind of magical backpack is that? Guess what? There's a treat for after dinner, too! <gasps> Going on our first trip together is very special. I was so happy I put in extra effort. So cute! I should go ahead and burn our trash. Burn it? Instead of throwing it out? Yes, of course. It's only proper. Back in town, there are people who handle incineration for us. But at times like these, we have to do it ourselves. We don't want these things turning into strays, you know? Even garbage turns into strays? Yep, and the strays that debris produces are incredibly strong. They're different monsters than they were originally. So trash spawns different monsters, huh? Waste disposal is vital. It's not a job to be taken lightly. So if I killed... a trash stray, do you think something might happen? Huh? Okay, let's see what we got. It looks like... a giant Frankenstein?! I'll hold it here! Ah! Emily, get back! Roger that! It's fire bullet! It's no good! The flames aren't strong enough! If one won't do it, then how about this?! Double strength! a loud sound, huh? Fused bullets. They're gonna be handy, for sure. Yes, they're amazing! Now... <laughs> what just happened? Did that bullet loop back around, or...? Yeah, pretty cool. The bullet actually chased the slime. I've got me some homing ammo. Oh, good, because Yoda didn't have enough dangerous weapons already. Mm. So this is it. The controversial new dungeon between Sekro and Hetero. Selen! It's very lively here! Not too surprising, with both towns sending adventurers to check the place out. Huh? Emily, you see that? Yeah, it looks like a pile of trash. People mean garbage, and there are plenty of people around. Is it safe for them to leave it stacked up like that, though? This area is pretty crowded, so it should be okay. But it burn. Fire magic. Inferno. She must be in charge of gathering up all the trash and making sure it gets burned. Her magic power is incredible. Mm -hmm. Whoa. There's already another pile just as big. That's a lot to handle. I don't see how she can burn enough to keep up with this kind of waste production. Hmm? <gasps> Look at her. She can't keep going on like this. Huh? Those bags under her eyes. And she's so pale. That's what people who have put in over a hundred hours of overtime in a month look like. I know from experience. Let's help! Yes, of course! <laughs> uh, are you alright? More adventurers? If you have any trash, bring it here and I'll see to it. I'll do that. But maybe you should rest for a while. Thank you. 
I, I can't at the moment, though. I need to burn this as soon as possible. But... I'll be okay. Fire magic, inferno! Before I was reincarnated, I was a miserable salary man at a toxic company. Now I'm in a crazy world where everything's an item drop from monsters! In this new life, I'm stuck at level 1, but lucky for me, my unique skill has maxed out all my drop stats to rank S. And today, I'm practically swimming in rare drops during a battle for a new dungeon! But there's something about this drop that isn't quite right. I need to burn this as soon as possible. got you! I have work to do. I think that's enough magic from you for today. Please, go rest. Not yet. They're depending on me to do this for them. So I must keep going. I've seen this too many times. People will get so overwhelmed by their responsibilities that their health crashes and their spirits are crushed. Some people even die. But... This is all I can do to help! Now I know this isn't about me, but I really don't want to see that help. <sighs> what was that? And why? When two healing bullets fuse, they become a sleep bullet. She wasn't going to rest otherwise. That is an excellent call. What? It's sunset? <laughs> no, I'm too late! what I call an excellent hall of homing bullets. I need everyone in a straight line! Why are you up? Hey, you really need to get some more sleep! Yeah, she's right. The two of us can handle things out here. Or, did you wake up because you're feeling a bit hungry? <sighs> wow. Don't even worry about the trash. We moved this tent closer to the collection site. What are you waiting for? Don't let it get cold! It's delicious. <laughs> Are you seeing what I'm seeing? She cries when she's eating too. You're also like Yoda in the way you tend to push yourself too hard. Really? Yeah, if anyone knows, it's me. <laughs> huh? <laughs> I'm sorry. We haven't even asked your name yet. I'm Celeste. Nice to meet you. I get it now. The dungeon drops are tax exempt until its ownership is officially decided. That's why so many adventurers are here, even at this time of year. Right. And they produce more and more trash every single day. A lot more than one person can handle. Well, rest assured, we'll help you out wherever we can, okay? Mm-hmm, mm -hmm. Thank you, I appreciate that. <sighs> However, this is the only work I can do. Huh? You don't have any other skills? I think she just fell asleep. I'm sure she's... It's like her body can relax now that it's over. She's way more powerful than yesterday. She looks better. Her color is back and her natural beauty is so much more noticeable now. Yeah, I agree. Since I had a chance to recharge, my magic revived at an even greater level than normal. Remember that, because you'll deflate again if you keep overworking yourself. We have plenty of space and food. Why don't you stay with us until this event is over? <sighs> no, I can't. You two already have done so much for me.
That tent is far too comfortable for you to be giving up space to anyone. Emily's unique skill is making any place a home, and there's just no escaping it. <laughs> I see. I didn't expect such generosity. I'll stay with you for a little while then. I'd say that settles it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, well, I'm gonna go check in at the Sekro HQ. I'll go with you as far as the shops. We should be back by lunchtime. Why don't you head on to the tent? <laughs> now that I look at it again, this place kind of feels like its own little town. Oh. Are you selling these here? You'd be surprised at the height of that. There are lots of men who work around here who buy them as gifts for their wives. Oh. You got one for a million pilo? Definitely couldn't afford that. They're absolutely beautiful, though. I didn't realize you were into jewelry. I've always loved beautiful rings. They're too expensive for me, obviously. But the sentiment always gets me. It's a gift that really means something, you know? Thank you for coming here, Mr. Sato. My name's Duke, and it's a pleasure to meet you. Welcome. And you as well. I'd like you to take a look at this. It's a sketch of Selen, the new dungeon that Sekro and Hetero are fighting over. So we're looking at ten floors then. We already know what drops are found there. Veggies on odd floors, and meats on the even ones. Split half and half? That's right. So we can't count numbers. Instead, we decided that the side whose floors yield the most rare drops within the time limit would win. Got it. I'll go right in and... There's no need to hunt. The adventurers who encounter rare monsters on the vegetable floors will capture them alive and have them ready for you. Huh? It's the most efficient way. We've already solicited help in exchange for some reward money. All we need you to do is focus on getting us rare drops. They created their whole strategy around me? Not something that ever would have happened in my old world, but I got it, huh? It's on the first level! As long as it's in our custody, we have the option to kill it. Please take all the time you need. You got it. Huh? Do you know those people? The older man is called Harvard. He holds the same role in Hetero's Dungeon Association that I do in Sekro. Next is an adventurer called Eugene. His skills are strong, but his plan drop rate is F rank. Why bring an adventurer with low drops? Well, because he can defeat rare plant monsters and keep them from making drops. Which means that we'll end up with fewer opportunities to collect them. Are you saying they brought him to sabotage us? That's right. But thankfully, this time, we have an advantage. <clears throat> Can you hold it still? Trust me, I'm trying! There we go, got it! Uh -huh. <laughs> What's it doing? Too bad that one won't die unless its hidden core is destroyed. If it's attacked anywhere else on its body, it regenerates and only increases in strength. Unfortunately for them, I know exactly where the core is. That's what I just shot, then yeah! You got the rare drop. It's soybean sprouts. That gives us a great head start. Damn it! Here's your reward. Keep it somewhere safe. Wow! You sure you want to give me this much? It's an appropriate amount for your contribution. And those soybean sprouts are yours to keep as well. You can exchange them for money at the trade post. I wasn't expecting anything extra. This is gonna help us out a lot. Now if I can just do that one more time. Where did Emily go? I can't see the director's face from up there. I'm back. Hi, welcome home. Goodness, you've had quite the long day. Tell me about the new job. How is dungeon conquering? Well, other than Hetero using an adventurer with F-ranked vegetable drops to sabotage us. Pretty like that? Yeah, but it doesn't matter. I still won. I'm only late because I made an extra stop on my way back. Ah! That's the ring from this morning! Did you really buy it? I can't get over how beautiful it is! 
Emily. What's up? This is actually a gift for you. <laughs> I mean, you always help me out whenever I need it. I can't. That's way too expensive. It's fine. They gave me extra. Trust me. I didn't expect to make so much money on the first level. When you said that rings were the kind of gift that really meant something to you, it hit me. I wanted to find a way to show you how thankful I am to have met you. I'm hoping this expresses it accurately. You've done so much for me. Thank you. <laughs> I've never received a gift like this. You've made me so happy. Thank you so much, Yoda. Everything has a plus one next to it. I've never seen this before. Do you think it has anything to do with your power? Um, about that. The guy who was selling jewelry told me he had more of that same ring in stock. And I was really curious about what kind of stray might emerge from a million pilo ring. So I may have experimented. Failed. I knew I could buy you another one. Well, I ended up getting back the exact same ring, but now there's an effect attached to it. <laughs> That's so like you, Yoda. What do you say we go test it out? Okay. Is this level okay? Yeah. Oh, there's one! A treant! <laughs> Ooh, is that a chicken breast? I already got a drop! <laughs> yeah. You seem pretty happy about it. You have no idea! I've been wanting a meat drop for so long now! And this is my very first one! My animal drop rate was consistent at rank F. Even though F is just one rank below E, there's actually a huge difference in status out here. The F stands for final, so some dungeons won't permit entry to anyone below E because they see them as unqualified. I had no clue. <gasps> Go get Harvard! He's somewhere around here! Oh crap, are we looking at this floor's rare monster? Emily! I'm okay. Hold it! Hurry! Go on and shoot! Back! Go ahead and kill the tree ant beard! We're rooting for you! If I kill it, it'll definitely drop something. That would bring Hetero's score even with Sekiro's. <laughs> What's wrong? Did you have a change of heart? You wouldn't receive judgment from anyone out here, so long as the item drops on this floor. <laughs> <laughs> that guy's ripped! His meat drop rate is clearly very high. <laughs> Damn it! What do I do now? Uh, Heads up, Yoda! Uh, 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 uh. Of course! Way to go, Emily! <laughs> I thought about what you said last night and realized... Without wearing this ring, my animal drop rate falls to F. Good for you for coming up with that on the spot! <laughs> I'm just so glad I could help! All the time that we sp- Mr. Sato, I've been told you did some quick thinking for us on the second level. Thank you. Oh, that wasn't me. That was my partner. Well then, your partner just earned some reward money. Although, we do have an unfortunate problem. Hmm? Hetero called for backup adventurers. They'll be arriving tonight. And that backup will instantly triple their numbers. You're saying the floors that drop meat will be full? Actually, the reverse is true. They plan to fill the odd floors. The f ranks will be monopolizing vegetables. But that's... <sighs> Our only choice is to fight fire with fire. No, let's finish this by the end of the day. <clears throat> if we could somehow still collect drops on floors 3, 5, 7, and 9, we'd at least be tied with them, now wouldn't we? If we did that, we'd effectively win, but... Listen, Duke, you gotta raise the reward for finding rare monsters. I'm talking 10 million. What? That's too much! If we were to pay that amount and not get any drops, it would be a catastrophic loss. I guarantee you that I will get rare drops. Guarantee? If I kill something and nothing drops, I will pay you the same amount back. <sighs> Hmm. 
deal. I can't believe it. I never imagined we would come this far. Level three. This is anyway. It drops Brussels sprouts. Level five. The rare form of the danger bear is the danger panda. Once slain, it drops salt words. Level seven. The rare form of the mad golem is the rock golem. It drops daikon radish sprouts. Man, getting these rare drops where I'm from would be such a game changer. Whatever. Once I kill this thing, I'm out of here. I know one of these heads is its weakness, but whenever it regenerates, the weak head changes. This guy's the pain in the A I've been waiting for. Hinoki <laughs> mushrooms. Every single one was lame. All right, you huh? did it. There's no way we're going to lose this race now. Yes, we've got this in the bag. We owe all of it to you, Duke. Oh, come on, don't be so modest. I'm going to report your achievements to HQ immediately. It's not modesty. At my old office, every suggestion I offered was rejected. But out here, my idea to devote 40 million to adventures was taken seriously and embraced. Whether we win or not, I just made a big purchase, so I'm gonna need some quick income either way. What do you want, Eugene? Just this, a little punishment. Everyone you see here, including me, has F-drop rates. If we could have stopped Sekro, the money would have been ours. And thanks to you, we're no longer needed. This magic circle has the same effect as a magic storm. You'll no longer be able to use your projectiles. Don't worry, we won't kill you. But I will not rest until I know for sure you'll never work around here again! Oh, so long as I don't think about efficiency! I'm stronger when I don't use my guns! I mean, you can try, but... You can use them? But how?! I've been able to use them during a magic storm before. Uh, what was that? It doesn't hurt anymore. Uh, uh, Healing magic. Uh, Ready? How, though? I'm fairly certain you won't believe me, but... <clears throat> I honestly understand how you're feeling. So it's cool if you want to attack me if it'll provide some sort of peace for you. If you hurt yourself in the process, I'll be there to help you heal. But don't count on me to lose either. I've got someone special waiting for me to come home safe. I understand. I really envy you. I wish I had someone like that. She wasn't always with me. There's still time for you to find your own someone someday. I'm back! Hi! Welcome back! Yes, welcome back. We've been waiting for you. Dinner's already on the table. I'm really here, aren't I? I'm home. Well, yeah. Where else would you be?
There's a whole lot more where that came from. One sec, I'll go get it. <laughs> She's been going hard ever since I've had less work. I hope it's only temporary. She's celebrating how well you've done, and so am I. Well, hold off on that. I mean, it's not like they've officially decided that Selen belongs to Sekro yet. Once that happens, it'll truly be over. Then we can go back to Sekro with nothing to worry about. I hope they decide sooner rather than later. <laughs> Look! I made you a cake! What? How did you manage that? I baked it over the campfire. You mean the one outside? It must have been a challenge. Uh, Celeste, don't overthink it, trust me. Huh? Yes, but... And there's ice cream, too! Hey, wait a minute! minute. How, How do you have, have ice cream? cream? Try not to move. This is a healing bullet. Are you okay? I think so. <laughs> well, you're awake. That's a good sign. Ah! Oh no, this can't be happening! Why is my heart pounding so fast? And my face feels like it's burning up! <sighs> Look, I didn't mean to... What are you doing that for? Can you take a breath, please? Absolutely. What were you saying? I'm so sorry for the distraction, but you were about to ask me something, right? Uh, yeah. Almost forgot. About that trash you just burned, there wasn't really that much of it, so... I'm wondering if it was necessary to use such a huge spell on something so small. Uh, maybe not. But it's the only one I know how to use. Huh? It's the level 3 fire spell, Inferno. I can cast it well, but nothing else, unfortunately. Wait, for real? What about levels 1 and 2? Don't you know those? I'm afraid I don't. Oh. Excuse us! Huh? Of course. <sighs> Let me help you. I've got a lot more time now that my work's all done. It's a lot to handle alone. Oh, I appreciate it. burning but it's never enough it's not always this way right well today is a little different there's often more garbage when a dungeon master appears sorry but you lost me there what's a dungeon master they only show up every few months but it's the boss of a dungeon yes and they're very strong and dangerous everyone is advised to avoid the dungeons for their own safety so they've been stress eating instead and that has led to all of this <sighs> hey it's gonna be okay celeste they'll have a team together to get rid of it in no time you'll see I bet things will be back to normal by tomorrow. Yes, of course. I'm sure you're right. I have an idea. Why don't you take the rest of the day off to relax? I can handle what's left. Uh, I couldn't. This is what I'm expected to... Uh... If you keep going like this, you're gonna pass out again. You're pushing yourself too hard. Without your strength, you can't help anyone. <gasps> I'll take it from here. You got this, Emily? You know it! Right this way. All right, let's get started. All of that in one day? Afraid so. But there's some good news, too. The team to remove the Dungeon Master should be assembled now. I'll go and check where things stand, then. Hopefully you'll feel a little better knowing that there's an end to this in sight. Yes, I do. Okay, I'll come and report back. Next time we talk, I want to hear about all those sweet dreams you had. I don't get it. Get what? We barely know each other, so why is Ryota being so kind to me? Because that's just the type of person he is. If he knows somebody needs help, he's not going to be able to ignore them. It was like that in Sekro, too. Where you two are from. Once that happens, it'll truly be over. Then we can go back to Sekro with nothing to worry about. Hmm. Oh, hey. If it isn't Sato. Uh, Neptune? Why are you here? <laughs> In case you haven't heard the latest news, 
The dungeon masters appeared. We've asked them to come help us defeat it. What a coincidence! That's why I stopped by. I'm really hoping you can get rid of it as soon as possible. It would help out a friend of mine a lot. Trust me, I wish I could do it all myself. Okay, why can't you? Things are a bit... It's our agreement with Atero. It states that if a dungeon master appears, then the two towns must assemble a joint force to defeat it. We've arranged to send in the Neptune group from our side. But they're stalling. Hetero hasn't taken any action yet. You're saying they're not even gonna try? Why not? Because that just works out better for them. If a dungeon master sticks around for a long time, the ecology of its dungeon can change eventually. And if that happens, then the items that drop will too, which may help them. That sounds bad. Yeah. The dungeon was practically in Sekro's hands, but this could send us back to square one. I know that's what they were hoping will happen anyway. I just hope we're not too late to defend our claim. Forget about this joint force thing. I'm gonna go in after that thing myself. If I'm not asking for any help, then it shouldn't be a problem, right? <clears throat> I'm sorry. I can't allow that either. And why not? You all have your own rules, apparently. What? You can't enter with a group of fewer than three adventurers. And everyone has to have stats ranked A or higher. Why is that the rule? Because the Dungeon Master is a sick, dangerous force of nature! <sighs> I apologize. The Neptune, why don't you and I... Cannot. I cannot. We already signed a contract to be part of Sekro's joint force, so I can't act on my own. I promise I would if I could. You can't be the only option. I'm sure someone around here will help me. Just don't expect it to be easy. Huh? All the adventurers here are people who came to profit off drops while they're tax-exempt. You think they're gonna be ambitious enough to take on a dungeon master? Good luck. Hello there, Yoda! Welcome back! Thanks, Emily. Uh, what are you doing with that? You said you're gonna go defeat the dungeon master, right? Well, obviously I'm going with you! You're always there to help me out, and that means a lot. But according to the rules, the two of us can't go into the dungeon on our own. We need at least three. I know that! Uh, I'm going with you. Uh, Celeste? But how can you? With the trash... It's alright. I found someone willing to help me out with it. You found someone who's willing to help? Hey! Uh, I'm here! <laughs> Eugene? Well, it sounds like you two already know each other, but this is our new garbage assistant. Huh? I hope you aren't assuming I feel guilty about anything regarding you, because I'm not. She offered to pay, and yeah, I accepted it. I have needs too, you know. Yeah, okay. Do you think you can handle it? That's a lot for one person. Oh, I have help. Huh? Hurry up and bring it over here. So many. So don't worry about me. We're gonna be just fine. I guess so. <laughs> Hey, what's going on, Eugene? We came here to help. I do everything. Shut up! Give me that! That's what I thought. <laughs> was coming back. Well, well, it sounds like they've got everything covered to me. So, we can go to the dungeon with you. Oh, well, it's a little more complicated than that. Besides needing at least three people, everyone has to have a rank stats or higher. That's not a problem either. a rank intelligence and will? Yeah, but my drop rates aren't very good yet, though. But I can still get in. I have points where it counts. And you're sure? You really want to? Yes. It might be my only chance. You'll go back to Sekro eventually, right? So this is it. I want to help out. Please allow me to support you two in that way. Thank you. I mean it. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> Once this part is done, we can go home. I want to go home now. What's going on here? There are no monsters. Not right now. When the dungeon master's anywhere... If there aren't any monsters in here, does that mean we get drops from somewhere else? There are no drops, period. And that's why we have to defeat the dungeon master as soon as possible. That's so crazy. Uh. <laughs> Dungeon Master? Looks like a horse with two horns. I've heard of that before. A beast that can take the pure. 
The Bicorn. Bicorn. <laughs> Let's go, Emily! Get ready! Forward. Celeste! Back me up! Fire magic! Inferno! I can't go anywhere now. Great! Emily! Thank you! Did I hit it again? No, not yet! I'll blow up the barrier with bullets. Fusions. We should hit it with the same chain of attacks. What do you think? Doable? Yeah. Easy. What? Sato went to the dungeon? <laughs> is anyone here that surprised? Not me. This is nothing to laugh about. It's dangerous. You know how serious a threat the Bicorn's power poses. It sure is resilient. I feel like we've done a lot of damage to it already. We have. We can give up now. Okay, let's do it. <laughs> Looks like trouble's coming our way. So be ready for it. Right! Ah! <sighs> Emily! Ryota has dropped two rings in all stacks, except HP and strength. What? Ah! Emily! <laughs> It lowered all of my stats except HP and strength. What about you? It lowered everything I have. You too, Celeste? Celeste! Is she okay? <laughs> oh, right. If her stats are lowered, then her MP would be... I can't let her push herself any farther. Emily, stay and take care of her. I'm gonna finish this. Wish me luck! I believe in you, and good luck! This is my fault. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to slow you both down. Well, I don't see it that way. We would have never made it this far if you hadn't come along with us. Huh? So thank you for everything you've done to help out. Stay here and rest a while. I'd rather finish alone than risk your safety. <sighs> no one's ever shown me kindness like that before. Why are you so inefficient?! Can't you burn that stuff any faster? If you're gonna be sick, you better tell me first! Finish the job before you collapse. I've only ever heard harsh demands from people I know. I figured it was because of my limited abilities that I deserve- Well, I don't see it that way. <gasps> we would have never made it this far if you hadn't come along with us. imagined that just having someone appreciate me would make me so happy. Be careful! I can't afford to rest right now. Somebody needs me! I won't let him down! <laughs> this wrong, Yoda! Is that Celeste? Calling fire magic! Are you okay? Where's the bicorn? We defeated it! Thank you, Sol- <laughs> I'm so glad I- I could be of help. Here, you should take these. What are they? They're the bicorn's drop. Uh, I 
couldn't accept something so valuable. Just take them. Tell her, Emily. Pay for you! You have to take them. Celeste obtained my corn horns. Celeste can now use level one magic with no limitations. What? Emily and I already had this discussion. We genuinely want you to have them, okay? A token of our appreciation. Thank you for working so hard to help us, Celeste. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> You're telling me you defeated the Dungeon Master? Yeah. Is that weird? Well, it's certainly given me quite the shock. We... we have to inform the adventurers right away. If the Dungeon Ecology has changed, we must know. Thank you. See you soon. I'm impressed. It was really just the three of you? To find such wonderful companions. You're so lucky. Companions? I just can't... I could say the same for you. Yeah. By the way, where'd Neptune go? <laughs> Looks like I missed out on my chance to fight with Sato. And it's all because of you and your stupid bullying. So then... Tell me, what are you planning to do about it? Celeste. Well, hello! These are amazing! I never thought I'd learn to use level 1 magic in my life! This has all been a dream come true. Ah, I'm glad you're getting some good use out of them. Oh, that reminds me! I heard that Selin belongs to Sekro from now on. Yeah. They confirmed that the dungeon's ecology didn't change after the dungeon master appeared. Many things have happened, but I'm glad it's finally over. So, I guess you're leaving for Sekro soon. Yeah, tomorrow. Ah. Uh, Celeste, I was thinking, I why want don't to you come with, with us? Oh? Huh? Wait, are you asking me to come? Well, I mean, yesterday, when she said we were lucky to find each other, it seemed like it'd be silly to throw it with the three of us. Yes! I'd love to join you! Glad to hear it. I mean, we'll have to talk to Emily first, of course, I'm but... all about it, friend! Were you just creeping there the whole time? Maybe, but I'm glad to know I'll be in the Yoda family with Celeste! We're all gonna have such a good time! We'll be the best team ever! <laughs> I agree, and we're lucky to have you with us. Thanks, Celeste. My pleasure. Delicious at all. Imposters. What happened to my perfect yummy carrots? Hello, level ones! Ugh. Come back, my low level loves. Check it out, over there! Oh man, she is gorgeous! Welcome to Sekro. Pretty lively town, isn't it? I'll say. Huh? Speaking of lively, I wonder what Eve's up to. Ryota? Is that you? Huh? Erza! It's been ages! At least that. It's so good to see you again. <laughs> um, who's your new friend? Oh, right. She came along to help me create my own party called the Ryota family. <laughs> You're gonna form an adventurer party with someone this beautiful? You say that like it's a bad thing. No, no, it, it's not at all! People are always talking about the amazing things you're doing out there! And when you're famous, you can do whatever you want with whomever you like! Yeah, it's no big whoop. I was just hoping to ask you something. Shop whenever you have a spare moment, okay? Oh, I gotta go! Uh, the Harvest Festival? What? I haven't heard much about it either. If you'd like to look huh? into it, I'd be happy to help. Emily and I were able to find some information regarding the Harvest Festival. Excellent! Way to be on top of it, Celeste! First, the obvious. It's a festival that is held annually here in Sekro. The draw is that you can see goods found in local dungeons on display, and they're all in one place. Cool. But why? I mean, are they for sale or something? They're for killing. Huh? They're placed in an arena, allowed to become strays, and then killed. The point is to show off the goods first, and then the monsters that spawn from them. Hmm. I can see that. Ryota, what exactly are we doing here anyway? Oh, right. Good question. 
After I parted ways with you two, I wanted to get my speed up to rank S as soon as possible. Ryoka's speed increased by zero. Uh, instead of waiting, I decided that I'd go down to level four. It wasn't easy at first, but I stuck with it and managed to defeat those monsters. Ryota's vitality increased by one. See that box over there? That's where I ended up putting all the seeds I collected. What? Isn't that a bad idea, though? Oh, look! Strays! Wait! Don't look so worried. Everything will be fine. Oh. Ryota has obtained binding bullets. That sounds like fun! Can't wait to see what kind of binding these bullets can do. Now you've got some answers. I had no idea that strays could also drop rare items. Oh, by the way, that's information I haven't shared yet. So please keep it between us, okay? All right, but if it's supposed to be a secret, why'd you tell me? Because I figured you're one of us now. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> what the? What's going on here? It's bad! A rare drop turned into a stray! Hurry up! You don't want to risk it! Okay? Yes. I mean, there's nothing wrong with me exactly. Although. <laughs> don't worry! We'll get you a brand new hammer! You'll have the best one ever made! What? I don't need anything that fancy! Think! <gasps> Didn't work. I'm thinking we should get you a new one. Yeah, okay. I'm so sorry. No way! Is that true? Pretty sure. Or someone who looked a lot like Sato. He defeated the stray. Oh. <clears throat> nice to meet you. I'm Smith, one of the weapons dealers here in town. Okay, so why did you want to meet with us? Well, sir, because of Emily here. I heard about what happened to her hammer. That it broke whenever your party was battling the stray yesterday. If it's not too bold, I was hoping you might consider allowing me to craft you a new one. A, a new, new hammer? hammer? Why, yes. Everyone knows who the Ryota family is after following your exploits in Selen. To have supplied one of the members with her beloved hammer? Well, that's marketing gold no real weaponsmith could pass up. Uh, I don't think I'd be okay with that. It'll be of no extra cost to you. I'll provide you with your new favorite hammer absolutely free. Huh? You don't want anything? That's right. Just keep using it. <laughs> then I'd be honored to do business with you. That's fantastic news! Then I say we delve right into production. If you have any special requests, all you have to do is ask. Really? Can it be anything I want? Not too bad! And you? Still working on those air boxes, I see. Uh... Huh? Well, um... Is there something wrong, or...? The thing is, the air boxes haven't been selling very well as of late. And it's not as though Princess Margaret is any less popular than she's always been. Maybe people are just tired of buying the same air boxes. I know. How about selling something new and different? I would love to. But what would it be? Well, let me think. Um... The princess's underwear, maybe? How about is this? Shall I lift it a bit more? Brilliant! I'm just kidding! You can't really do that! How about rings? 
Seems like that would track with the princess's elegant royal image and would feel super special. Genius! You're a genius, sir! <laughs> Princess! I've got this! Forget the way that you saved me. Thank you so much, Ryota. Oh, come on. I just did what any decent human would have done. Mr. Sato, we're grateful to you for saving our prince. The rings that she loves. As a token of gratitude, may we present you with the first one? Oh, I couldn't accept that. The first sale is a big deal. Please let me. Oh. It would be my pleasure. And such an honor. I want you to be my first. Um, right. Okay. Does it meet with your approval, Miss Emily? Oh, let's see. I think I'd like it to be heavier and definitely sturdier. Mm. Huh? Eve! It's so good to see you! Where are carrots? I need you to find low level for me. Low level what? If you're asking about Yoda, he went to Nihonium. I believe he was going to stop by Tolulu and then Irsa's shop directly after that. He's going to Nihonium first! I got it! <laughs> This thing came in handy more quickly than I expected. Ryota obtained a pouch that automatically picks up and contains dropped items. If I didn't score this when I did, I would have had a hard time hiding these seeds. Man, that would have been horrible. Anyway, time to make some money happen. Here, low level, the carrots. Got these for you. Wow, it all looks wonderful. Oh, I thought I heard you. Welcome. Hey, so, uh, what was the favor you wanted to ask of me for the Harvest Festival? Oh, right. Well, background info first. Do you know how the Harvest Festival works and why we have it? Yeah, pretty much. You put products that are found in dungeons on display, then kill them when they turn into strays. Okay, that'll work. If you know at least that much, we can save some time. The favor I wanted to ask you was for you to collect some of the drops that are more difficult to get. Got it. In other words, you need help with the rare drops? I do. And I intend to pay you for every single one of them. Are you sure you're okay with it? Hey, you're always doing so much for me. I'm grateful for the opportunity to pay you back. You are the absolute best! In that case, take this with you. It's a list of all the rare drops we haven't found yet. I'm sorry to have to interrupt your tender moment. What do you mean? I've got Philo. 40,000 for the items you brought in. Thank you. But why are there so many coins involved? I'm so sorry about that. It's a bit awkward, but the person in charge of the dungeon that drops money was arrested. Hiding a bed? Uh... Uh, wait, so you're telling me that even money comes from drops? Yes, yes of course. course. Where, Where else, else would it? If that's the case... Give it a second, and that should become a stray. Hey, director! Over here! Crunch! Why am I doing the title card all by myself when it's not even my episode? It worked! Get back here! You're asking for ten grand! Gotcha! What is this? Ryota obtained a potion that boosts one's plant drop rate by three ranks for ten minutes. Ooh. Well, actually, there's not much I can do with this since I'm at rank S. I finally found you! Uh, uh! You know, if you wanted those carrots so badly, you should have asked your party mates for help. They're not good enough. Ow. I love your carrots so much, they taste better. Oh, and also I love the party I was in. What? Why's that? 
a difference in dungeonal direction. It's not like a band. They kept making demands of me, and I'm just a rabbit who wants to eat carrots all day. These things always seem to happen to me. I wonder if you're doing anything to cause it. Rabbits are strong! I can do it all by myself, see? Rabbits know what's up. They know parties are annoying. Not good. Come on, Eve. Meat isn't enough. Eat some vegetables, too. No! They're yucky. I like meat. To be healthy, you have to eat them. No! Party members are mean. I hate them. Hi there. It said hi. Is this a, a haunted house? You're a human, aren't you? Are you asking because you're a ghost? Huh? Oh. Is that thing a cow ghost? Tell me. It's called a death buffalo. It's this floor's monster. A real monster? <laughs> you better stay Me too? Uh? I want to learn how to do what you did with the ghosts! You gotta teach me how to exterminate uh, them! Teach me everything uh, you know! Um, okay, I can try. So picky about what you eat. I don't Maybe care. Maybe it'll taste I better if we share stuff. it. Rather there you go. It's yummy. Here, take this too, if you want. Enjoy. Oh, oh good. We're a party. Yeah, sure. I guess we are a party, aren't we? Uh oh. I was a carrot-loving rabbit who lived only to seek out delicious carrots to eat. All because of a stupid little boy. My party mate. That's how I know that all parties are bad. I don't know, that's sounding a little extreme to me. Anyway, nothing wrong with loving carrots, but why not just get your own? <sighs> that means I can only get the yucky carrots. Oh. Well, then I may have just the thing for you. What is it? Definitely not a carrot. No, it's not. But drink it, trust me. <sighs> is this for real? Sure is. So if your plant drop rate is really at a D, then it should have gone up by three levels to an A. Look, why don't you give it a try? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Go ahead. Uh, Taste it. Uh, oh. ah! It's bursting with crunchy sweetness. I know it's an A-rank carrot. Also, the sense of accomplishment I feel in knowing I got it myself is the most, the most delicious part. And this potion. Just where did you get it? Uh, sorry. It's not really for sale anywhere. In fact, it's a special item that only I'm able to acquire. <laughs> Level. 
Yeah? Please let me join your party! Remember when you said all party mates were bad? I'm sorry, I made a mistake. Party mates are not bad, they're wonderful. They give me funny looking potions so that I can eat all the tasty carrots I want. That isn't party mates in general, that's just me! Please, sir! I'll do anything. Pretty please? Pretty get please, off the floor! Please, okay, please, fine, please, you can join, please, you can join please, my party, please, just please, get up! Please, I'm back. Hey, good! Check out my new hammer, Yoda! It's finally finished! I can't wait to use it! What's up? I mean, uh, what exactly happened out there? Well, uh... I came across Eve while I was hunting for drops, and she expressed interest in joining our party. Ah! Welcome to our party, Eve! I love you! I love you so much, Lola! 